With this video, what I'd like to talk about is how to do headers and footers in a very foolproof fashion. I think Microsoft actually made headers and footers a little tricky when they added the new features to Word 2007. So this is the way I suggest that people always do their headers and footers so they have a kind of a no fuss, no muss kind of thing going on. So let's say I wanted to add a header to this particular document. I'll click the insert button, the insert tab, so I can see the insert ribbon. And then I'll go to the header option under the header and footer group. And I suggest that people always pick the blank three columns header. That gives you the most flexibility of what you want to see in your header. When you choose this option, you get three text placeholders that allow you to put whatever text you want in those three locations in your header. And in this case, um, you could click on the item and type in the text you wish, or you can just delete the placeholder and have nothing at that particular location. But I'll put something in all three locations. XYZ Company Report. And I'm going to go ahead and put a page number here so we can just see how we do page numbers if we wanted one in the middle of this location in the header. So at this point, I go to the page number button in the header footer tools design ribbon. And this is another thing that a lot of people get wrong. Simply choose the current position page number and just choose plain number. I mean, you can choose one of the other options that Word has, but these options tend to be a little screwball and tend to get you into more trouble. So I'm just going to choose plain number. So now I just have the number one in my header here. Now you can dress this up a little bit if you want to put some text around that. So you can put the word page in front of that. And if you'd like to see how many pages are in your document, we can go ahead and add that on also. And again, I suggest you do it this way simply because it works every time and you don't get any extra hard returns that you're not expecting and you don't get these strange behaviors that their pre-formatted headers and footers will give you. So let's just type the word of. And now we'd like to see how many pages we have in this document. To get the number of pages in our document, we'll go to the Quick Parts button, which is up in the Insert group under Header and Footer Tools Design. And under Quick Parts, you'll notice I already have a few Quick Parts that I've defined, but we want to choose the Field option under Quick Parts. The Field option opens a dialog box with many fields that are available in Microsoft Word, and we're going to scroll down and find the field that talks about the number of pages. So if I come down here, I find a num pages. I'm not sure why Microsoft abbreviated these. They have plenty of room for more text, but num pages is what we want. We can choose a different formatting for this if we wish, but I'm just going to go with the default format. Click OK. And now it says page one of two. So we have two pages in this document. So I can then come, come over here to this third text box and uh, maybe put the date there. So we'll click date and time and choose one of the date and time options and click OK. Now this particular header is actually a little bit more sophisticated than it looks because this header has what Microsoft is now calling alignment tabs inside this header. And these alignment tabs are actually invisible. Um, if I turn on the options that show the hidden characters, you'll notice there, it seems to be there are two tabs in here. And indeed, they look like they're lining up on the center tab that you see on the ruler and on this right tab you see on the ruler at the far right. But in fact, they are not lining up on those tab stops. There are these hidden alignment tabs in that preformatted header. And I can demonstrate this to you by changing my margins. If I, if I double click here in this gray area on the ruler, it'll open the page setup dialog box. And if I change, let's just say the right margin, oh, and I'll, I'll make it a two inch right margin to make that a little bit more obvious. Notice that the tab stop is still way out here at the six and a half inch, but my date on the right hand side moved to that right margin. And notice the page one of two is no longer centered on my center tab. This is because those alignment tabs are inserted in there. This is something Microsoft needs to work a little bit more on, but at the same time, this is a nice demonstration of how great those alignment tabs are because now they actually move your header components to the correct location. Word did not do that before. 
So if I undo that, I have this nice header now. And uh, one other thing that I often do in my headers is um, I'll select the the header and maybe make the font uh, a little bit smaller than my body font, uh, and maybe make it italics. And I always think that uh, putting a bottom border on my header makes a, a nice touch. So let's turn off the hidden characters. And there's my header. Let's see how that looks. So I actually think that looks pretty good. Let's go to the, the footer now. So I'm, I'm back in my header here, and I'll just hit the down arrow. And now I'm in my footer. And I'll just repeat this process. So what I want to do is I want to insert. I mean, I can do it here on this ribbon, but I'm going to actually go to the Insert group just to kind of show you this from the beginning. The Insert tab, Insert footer. In this case, again, I want the blank three-column footer. And I have my three text boxes, which are separated by the magical alignment tabs. Um, I could put whatever text I want in these text boxes. Um, notice how these text boxes aren't selecting quite as nicely as they did before. I'm not sure what's up with that. But I'll just select that text box and put in maybe my name down here. And again, I'll go ahead and put page numbers in just to demonstrate those page numbers. So I'd like to say page X of Y, so I always like to do that page. And I want the page number here. So again, you go up to the page number button in the header and footer group. Go to current position, put in a plain number. Page 1 of, I go to my quick parts, choose the field option from that drop down menu. Scroll down to number of pages, which Microsoft in their infinite wisdom calls num pages. And click OK. And page one of two. And then I can select this text box and put in a date or time. So maybe I'd put the time on this one, let's say. And again, as I like to do, I often will change the font size to a slightly smaller font for the footer and header, maybe make it italics or even bold. And on the footer, I like to put a top border on the footer to separate it from the body text. Again, this is just a little dressing up. Of course, you don't need to do this. But there's that top border. Let's go to Print Preview and maybe see what this looks like. So here's my Print Preview button. And there's that document with the headers and footers. And they look pretty good. Thank you.